get to chill? John, oh, we can ask John a question, actually. Oh, okay. What did you think of the show, John? Well, what I was wondering about in the show is I was wondering how you start making your work, how you start making the painting. How do you decide? How do you decide how not to make all the other paintings you could have made? How to what? How do you decide how to not make all the other paintings you could have made and make these instead? They, they're going to change. So the show will change throughout the month. Yeah. So really? we're going to put out paintings that you haven't seen tonight. Yeah. Huh? And yeah, it'll be changing. Yeah, it's gonna go. It's quite a massive show in the first place. So it's it's interesting that you'd have even more. Yes. Yeah, we're keeping secrets from you guys. So and then, how do you? And then, how did you? Deci- how do you decide which? Uh, oh. Like which paintings go where? Yeah. Mm, no. How do you? <laughs> When, when you're working on those works on the other side of the wall, the black and white pieces, what's, what's the subject matter? Where does it come from? Urinal. Pardon? Urinals, yeah. Mo- a lot, urinals. yeah. A lot of those drawings are a part of the washroom series. Uh huh. Yeah, so... My favorite is the one where she's fishing, or it's somebody's fishing in the toilet bowl. Yeah. Yeah, That's so there, there are a whole bunch of them from Sorry, the washroom and, Yeah, I know. He's like the, that fishing guy, like those really like waiting for the revolution. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> fishing. So, so why do you work in the use that subject matter of the washroom? It's oh. not. I don't think it's to be uh, to appeal to a purient interest or be to be scandalous. But I immediately think of a washroom as a place where you get time to think. Is it something about that? Well, uh, it is related to a lot of my own experience with my sisters, pretty much, uh-huh. and my friends. And I think uh, well, I'm really interested in the, the washroom, like the public and private space. But at the same time, I think uh, girls' washrooms are a little bit different, like a lot of gossip going on. Mm-hmm. and. Like a lot of vanity of the mirrors and how uh-huh. like the space is constructed for you to do that and how like you prepare yourself before you go out of the space to face the rest of the people like how you want to present yourself. Uh-huh. So I think there there's a lot of uh, like the, it's very obsess- obsessive mm. of myself or of people that are using it. Bernadette, you've worked a lot in figurative things. And uh, I don't see a lot of figurative work here, really. There's, there's not a lot of just people. Just shoes. Hmm? There's shoes. Hmm. I've been into shoes lately. Um, more as like the discard object or the studio object. But um, yeah, I kind of do more than one thing. So right now it's just some of the ovals. Some of the which? Oval paintings. There's like ovals used as a pattern that's kind of uh, plays off like reflection that you see on, on water or creates holes that you travel through, you know. So it has a bit of a dichotomy to play with the surface. So that's, that's what I've been interested in. But it's, it's also more, I think like Sally and I's work have this very kind of like body response, you know, it's, a, it's like it's a human scale and it's also very much about like a, a visual, like physical response of looking at the work. So it's about having perception as one of the senses, um, very much like the rest of your body can touch, feel things, you can feel the 